This I Transfuse podcast is based on fact sheets you can find at transfusion.com.au, the Australian Red Cross Blood Service website for health professionals. What are platelets? Platelets are small round cells that are actually fragments from another type of cell called the megakaryocyte. The average lifespan of a platelet in the body is 8 to 12 days. What do platelets do? Platelets play a crucial role by ensuring our blood can clot when needed. They also contain growth factors that aid in the repair of damaged body tissue. How do platelets work? When body tissue is damaged, a chemical is released causing platelets to become activated, changing their shape and causing them to become very sticky. When platelets are activated, they clump together and stick to the damaged tissue. This is called a platelet plug, which begins the process of forming a clot to stop the bleeding. When might a patient require a platelet transfusion? Platelet transfusions are commonly used in patients with a low platelet count or poorly functioning platelets who are bleeding or at high risk of bleeding and are unlikely to make their own platelets. This may occur due to high dose chemotherapy, bone marrow transplants, liver disease requiring surgery and after severe trauma. Platelets may also be required during major surgery when a patient has taken aspirin or similar drug. Aspirin inhibits platelet function. Will a platelet transfusion always help a patient's platelet count? A platelet transfusion will not always help a patient with a low platelet count. A patient with immune thrombocytopenic purpura, or ITP, has a strong antibody which destroys platelets. There is little point giving more platelets to be destroyed. Patients with this condition require therapy to modify their immune system. How does the Australian Red Cross Blood Service produce platelets? The blood service can produce platelets in two different ways, by apheresis collection or by whole blood collection. Apheresis involves removing the donor's blood, spinning it in an apheresis machine, collecting the platelets and returning all the other blood components back to the donor. After whole blood is collected, it can be spun to separate the red cells from a buffy coat and the plasma. The buffy coat contains platelets, white cells and some red cells. Four buffy coats can be combined together and filtered to remove the unwanted cells to make the final platelet product. How are they stored? Platelets do not survive refrigeration well and must be kept at room temperature between 20 and 24 degrees. As a result, they are at high risk of bacterial contamination, so they only have a shelf life of five days. They also need to be stored on a machine that gently rocks them to ensure the platelets do not clump together. The fact sheets and podcasts are designed to provide basic information to people without training in health or science. They are not intended to be medical or professional advice. The disclaimer on transfusion.com.au applies to this podcast. For more information or to view the fact sheets, log on to transfusion.com.au. To become a blood donor, log on to donateblood.com.au.